I will turn to Senator Cantwell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks for holding this important hearing on Senate Bill 4420, the CRESS Act, which Senator Collins and I introduced last June. And I also like to thank committee members Senator K Cassidy and King for also agreeing to co-sponsor this legislation. According to a new report from the world's top scientists, removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is essential to blunting the impacts of climate change. In other words, just reducing future emissions is no longer enough. So we need to figure out how to remove and trap carbon pollution from the atmosphere in order to avoid more frequent and intense extreme weather we are seeing across the United States. An example from the Pacific Northwest, my colleague just left from Oregon, but I'm sure he'll never forget his hometown of Portland hitting 114 degrees, shattering century-old records and corresponding with wildfires that rage across the Northwest. A new study found that in 2021, heat wasn't just some black swan event. It would be virtually impossible in the 1950s. But today, because of multiple trends driven, driven by climate change, such as heat waves like these will occur uh, once every 200 years. But if we allow global warming to reach two degrees Celsius and we are on track, to exceed that level, the Pacific Northwest will suffer from devastating heat waves. That is why it's so important to advance promising tools of carbon removal. Most of us on the committee know and have supported this in the past, the first comprehensive federal carbon removal R&D program in the Energy Bill of 2020, and $3.6 billion directed at the direct air capture in the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill. And again, the game-changing expansion of 45Q tax credit in the Inflation Reduction Act. What the CREST Act brings to the table is a focus on promising the leveraging of natural carbon removal processes, solutions such as reforestation, algae cultivation, advanced geological mineralization, and direct ocean capture. The bill also provides support for entities that are figuring out how to quantify emission reductions from capturing carbon. And the CREST Act creates a five-year pilot carbon removal purchase program in order to spur and support private sector efforts in this area as well. So I'll look forward to asking Dr. Huff about this, but thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank to my colleagues on the committee who are also uh, Senators Cassidy and King, who are co-sponsors of this legislation. Thank you, Senator.